the what's up what's good we are here we are back we are blessed we are here with somebody who's very inspirational to me um i've been watching him develop his content on social media for a while now and uh let's give him a round of applause what's up my boy what's good, up Zeke? What's good, what's happening? go ahead and introduce uh, yourself let him know where you're uh, from how you went and whatnot all right my name is uh, ezekiel burnett i go by zeke uh, on instagram pretty much all social platforms i go by i am zeke b and uh yeah i've been creating content for a few years now and recently really been taking it serious and going a little bit of places with it so glad to be here thanks yeah, for having me that's what's up bro i'm glad to have you here man thank you for coming through for me uh, i know we were supposed to have been here been done that but we here we right. we're finna do it let's get it done um so today uh topic for the show will be uh social media and the way it has evolved like over the years um i know me and zeke we're not too far apart in age uh so i feel like me personally i just feel like we we really like set the tone for the way it has developed you know over mm -hmm. the years um but yeah we're just gonna dive deep into that and like you know y'all already know we're gonna educate y'all within that so yeah let's get going uh so yeah uh you you when did you uh like know that like you had the talent to like content create and like you know start doing that whole like real I know when I seen your first reel with the I think it was you were doing an advertisement for uh some pizza place yeah toppers yeah toppers. yeah that's who I've been working with um recently mm -hmm. um but I would say it honestly all started back like in my freshman year of college yeah, okay um I had a couple people in my ear just telling yeah. me like I see that you have the image I see that yeah. you have what it takes to you know, do social media or create content. And I had a manager at first okay. and I was in like a group with probably like five, six other dudes. I think I seen you modeling. Yeah, like, was that yeah. like the, okay. That was yeah, like I what see. really opened the door. For yeah, me. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. So I started doing I a little bit of stuff that. with that yeah. and uh, going on trips with them. And they started going into a lane, I guess, that I didn't really see for myself. Right. Um, and so especially now that I've matured more and grown into who I really want to become mm -hmm. um i just really wanted to take my own route and so i haven't been working with them for a couple yes. of years now just really doing my own things so. and sometimes i feel like experience and change is all a part of the plan you know what i mean yeah. all a part of the process of you becoming your own special individual so you know like don't like i know you probably don't regret it or anything you take it as experience but at least you knew you were different from outside of that you yeah. know and it's always good to be different so yeah that's what's up bro but that's what's up. Cool. I definitely, uh, you just jogged my memory when uh, you brought that up, though, because I definitely remember you doing your model thing for a while. I know you still do it, like, here and there, like, yeah. on your own time and stuff. That's what's up. Y'all, he really be putting that stuff on. Like, I know mm -hmm. he probably looking a little simple. Y'all should see his jeans up close, but but he really be putting that stuff on. Just I letting y'all know that. Yeah. It. Don't gas me. Dissy rascal. I like this. What the yeah, yeah. But uh, let's, let's dive a little bit more into, like, uh, you know, uh, like just your endurance behind it and like how you really like motivate and push yourself to like be consistent and drop content. I know me, that's something that I can be honest with. I have a problem with consistency. Like I know I have the content to put out, but it's just like the matter of putting it out. So like, what would you tell me? Like, what would you tell me to motivate me to be more like consistent? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm, I, I even look at myself as not being the most consistent. I know that I can work That's crazy. And, and do better in that area because recently, like, I just dropped a reel today for Toppers, mm -hmm. but I haven't really been posting as much as I feel like I mm -hmm. should be in order to actually take me to the heights that I know right. I can go to. And so, right. really, ultimately, I just feel like, I mean, even what we were talking before we got the cameras rolling mm -hmm. about just being camera shy, yeah. doing stuff in front of yeah. other people. I feel like that's the number one thing that holds me yeah, back. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, I know this is something that you want to do. I know this is something, like, I tell myself all the time, like, I'm, I'm sure there's other creators that you look up to and mm. you see what they do. And it's just like, I, what I take away from creators that I look up to is just, there's just no reason not to. Right. Because you're going to end up regretting it one right. day. Right. Because you're going to look back and be like, oh, I can do that or I should have done that. And Definitely. Ultimately, all it does is... And it's as cliche as it yeah. sounds. Everybody says it, but simply pressing record. Definitely. And even just like you were saying before, just, just getting it done, man. Showing the growth, showing yeah. like you're not gonna have everything figured out. You're not mm -hmm. gonna have all the equipment or the best quality. But if you show that you are consistently working towards that, right, that gives some like people something to work towards. So 
I That's something that I'm even trying to work on myself. I definitely feel like you playing yourself though, because I, I I've seen you like for the last four months, you've been dropping like, like I think you drop at least like seven or six videos a month. Like, yeah, he's playing himself, y'all. Don't let I know. Him pull, see, that's the thing. Like, although I will, like, I'll go on streaks. Like, I'll post yeah. almost every day for like yes. a week and yeah, then yeah. not post for a week. And, and that's, that's where good. I'm... That is that is a start, bro. Like, yeah. Like that, even for me, like that's motivating me to get on, on some shit like that. I, I don't think like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like that, that is definitely a start. Like like you said, there's always room for growth, you know, to only get better. Um, but to piggyback off of a few things you were saying um, regarding uh, consistency and everything, I feel like me personally, I also have issues with even posting because of just the way social media projects you, you mm -hmm. in like society and like, the audience and like who's it for i feel like we really have social media in a way kind of in my opinion has brainwashed some of us um uh regarding like for example uh you might go on social media and see like you know somebody posting something you may not have and it might discourage you or whatnot it's it's not supposed to but like you know everybody has their own way of thinking everybody you know isn't you and like Sometimes it is discouraging, especially if you don't have, like, the right people in your ear motivating you to, like, you know, be better. How do you, like, channel yourself to just know that, like, you know, it's not about anybody else. It's, it's more so for you about you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How do you, like... Yeah. I mean, I just... I think that there's a lane in, in this social media yeah. stuff for anybody yeah. and everybody. And just, like you're saying, like, yeah, you can look at somebody else and see what they have and see what's working for them, but... I genuinely feel like there are more people that can relate to yeah. you not having it. Yeah, yeah. And so that's what it what it's all about. Right. Like people, viewers, consumers, they want somebody that they can relate to. Right. Ultimately, they want somebody who they can look up to. And so if you are being your authentic self, mm -hmm. no matter what it is, no matter if you don't have something, you know, like even those people that we look up mm -hmm. to or seeing what they have, they started in the same yeah. position we did. Definitely. For the most part. Definitely. You know? Like, I guess there are creators out there who I guess were born in the money or mm -hmm. have certain things but yeah. most of them especially a lot of people from that the I've mud. seen yeah. yeah so yeah it sure. literally just took that grind like you're just not hearing of them yeah. when they got five million followers or whatever it is but at the same time they started with zero right just like yeah. everybody else so. yeah man yeah man um social media is like very impactful it could it could it could make or break you for sure like in this world but it's the way you utilize it it's the way you project it you know what i mean um uh, I know in the beginning I started off with like uh, uh, me saying that like I feel we were like some of the first gens to like really evolve social media as a platform, as a trend, like for society, as a way to utilize, to, you know, brand yourself, to sell stuff. You can buy, you can do a lot now uh, through Facebook, through Instagram, through TikTok. Like mm -hmm. I know TikTok has like, what is the store that they're like partnering with? It's like a I always, TikTok storefront or whatever you know what yeah, yeah like, I know what you're talking they about. have like it's just it has it has went from my space to like that yeah. so TikTok like, is the number one search engine yeah in the world right now yeah it's crazy yeah um i don't use tiktok too too much i'm trying you to get gotta get on a, you it. gotta get on it bro like I, I would say like i i probably utilize tiktok more than like instagram now like i'd be on it more like it's just like but see i've I think there's a difference between the content on yeah. Instagram and, and it TikTok, is, and it I is. like the Instagram yeah, content. Yeah, it is, the content it is. that I want to create, like cinematic stuff yeah. and things, is more for yeah. the Instagram space, but I understand. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's easier to grow on TikTok, mm -hmm. but it kind of is. Yeah, yeah, it is, especially regarding like certain industries, like mm -hmm. dancing, um, mm -hmm. music in general, singing, produce, like anything, engine, like TikTok is like definitely... Com comedians like that's really a platform yeah. for them but like i definitely say instagram will never be defeated i, I like I, I don't think i will ever so see myself not using instagram but i definitely will say i do, do see my platform building bigger and faster on tiktok than yeah. instagram if that makes sense yeah, I feel just like because it's, it's just of the easier different. to be all more yeah. like more authentic yeah on TikTok, definitely sure. more yeah just more yourself like yeah but yeah mm -hmm. uh Though was good. This is your halftime report. Just wanted to let y'all know we did donate to the Cancer Awareness Org here, right here. Um, we're also going to start accepting um, personal donations. Um, you can donate here, and when you donate, send it to the, this cash shop. You can put in the four box um, donation, and uh, that will uh, specifically let me know. Um, 
you know that you would like to donate to the next uh podcast episode and it will be shown in these pop-ups here um and i'll give you a shout out um for supporting to a good cause we're also accepting donations to uh this production um investment uh you know I am doing this out the kindness of my heart because I do want to spread awareness. I do want to educate people and I do want to guide people back to um, Jesus Christ. So, you know, anything helps if you want to donate um, to LB Enterprises, you know, to get us uh, better stuff to better put out this content for you all. That would be greatly appreciated. But again, you know, my message is always good and free so you know if you don't have anything you know just tune in tap in like comment support subscribe you know just support in, in any type of way shape or form um if you like what you're hearing if you feel like it's blessing you if you feel like you're receiving a good message each and every episode tap in share this get this message out people need to hear this people need to be aware we need to wake up so yeah thank y'all um but yeah let's get back to the show Okay, so yeah, so to piggyback off all of that, um, uh, I definitely feel like, uh, you know, over the years, social media has become one of the ways people can slip into like mental health illness, um, uh, specifically in the line of depression and anxiety. Uh, I did a few, re I did a little research. Um, I know that they did a survey on like, uh, a couple people in in the country, and uh, sixty four percent of people believe that social media can have like numerous negative effects on your mental health. Uh, and they said that at least thirty percent feel like it's for depression. The rest is anxiety. Like uh, I was just kind of appalled by it because I'm like me growing up as a kid, as a jit. You know what I mean? I I didn't really grow up in the phone like mm -hmm. as much until I hit like what like. 14, 15, I'll say, like, that's when, like, you know, Instagram became a real thing. And Snapchat, that's when Snapchat, mm -hmm. like, that was, like, 2014. Snapchat used to have us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, what? I remember that. But I, de I definitely noticed that, like, um, I, I like, so I buy my nails a lot. And, like, uh, I used to do it, too. Yeah, 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 like, but I noticed, like, when, I remember one time, like, I was, like, 15, 16. I used to hoop. I used to bite my nails real bad, and um, I got a fucking infection. No, I, I got an infection. I was hooping one day. I, I, I thought I had jammed my finger, but, like, two days later, I had caught an infection. They said it's it's from biting your finger. Some probably mm. got in there or whatnot. But uh, my mom, she made a, like, I feel like she did make a good point at the time. She said, it's because you always on that phone, and you watching this, and you watching that. And I'm like, hmm, like, I do know I did, like, like growing up. After that, I'm like, damn, maybe I became more anxious just, like, being on my phone more, you know, than just meditating to the world and, like, taking right. moments for as they is, you know what I mean? Paying um, attention to reality. Yeah, like, just being here instead of, like, on a screen. Uh, but, yeah, like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like that affected you in any way regarding your mental health? Like, do you feel like you have any, like... I mean, I'll say... As a creator, it's mm. messed with me here and there just yeah. because, like I said, it's easy to look up at, to, like, those who you might want to be in the same shoes as yeah. and maybe realize, oh, it's not working out for me this way or not working out. But I don't know. I've just always been an optimistic person, and mm -hmm. I understand that, like, and my grandma just told me the other day, like, mm. you just have this type of mindset to where if you set your mind to it, you're going to get it done. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. I just feel like if this is something that I seriously want to do, mm -hmm. you can't care about all that yeah, stuff. You for can't, sure. You can't beat yourself up yeah. because even how I was just saying earlier, like, there's going to be plenty of people out yeah. there who will end up liking Definitely. their true, authentic self. You better teach it, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Bossak. So Definitely. in ways, I say it's messed with me, but overall, I haven't really had too much of an issue with yeah. it because me personally, I've always, especially when I started taking content seriously, mm -hmm. I just more so just constantly tell myself, like, you want to be a producer rather than a consumer. Right. And so the consumers are the ones who are constantly educate, eating educate. stuff up and yes. constantly looking at what other people have or whatever. Yes. And it's just like, I don't want to be on my phone just scrolling. Right. scrolling. Like, I tell my making, girl that all the yeah. time. Like, you just always in your phone. Yeah, and yeah. It's easy to, you know, see 
yeah. whether it's like somebody else's body and like yeah. i could easily look at you know i get yeah. in the gym i do things i could easily look at plenty of gym yeah. creators and be like oh i wish i had their body but that's yeah. not me right that's not the way god created right. me that's not what aligns with my goals even right, so right. it's just like you you can't just you know shove your brain with all that I'm not going to say it's not reality because, yes, there are people out there yeah. like that, but yeah. like, it's not your reality. Right. It's and not your reality. Right. So I just always constantly told myself that, like, if if this is something that you want to do, then you just can't allow it to eat you up in yeah. that way. Yeah. Definitely got a good mindset on them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I definitely agree with you. I know, uh, like you said, uh, I know I find my little so I have I'm the oldest on my mom's side. So, like, I always find myself telling my sisters, I do feel like. They're like, they're a little younger than me. I feel like their generation, they are really like stuck, like stuck in the screen. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's so bad. Like iPad kids, iPad kids like, <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's so bad. Like it kind of make cringes me. Like it makes my skin crawl a little bit. But I know like, I remember one time, like my little sister, I love her to death, y'all. This is just her adulting though. Like, you know, all, all my two year olds probably go through this little phase, but I'm like talking to her, like having a serious one-on-one, -on -one, like heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And it's like, she is literally scrolling. Like, mm -hmm. and me back in, back in my day when I grew up, I couldn't even do that. Like I couldn't do it. I didn't feel comfortable doing it, but it's just like, I feel like social media and like just phones in general, like have, have, have us so hooked now is just really hard to attach yourself to reality, especially if you haven't practiced it growing up, practice it growing up. Um, my sister was definitely an iPad kid. She had everything. She had the new hoverboard when it first came out. All the, yeah, she she was yeah she was so it's like it's like a I feel like though technology in general though like it's getting crazy. You know yeah. like yeah, like virtual reality. Yeah, right? like yeah. like uh I don't. Did you hear about the what is it called the little metal what, 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 metaverse metaverse? Yeah. metaverse. Have you ever tapped into that shit? Mm. I don't really like it to me just because, like I said, I like reality. Yeah, yeah. I like real life. I don't see the point in trying to dwell into something to where, like, I just know it's not real. They're trying to make it like a what? What is that called? Like a u utopia or some shit? Mm -hmm. That's like. Like where you can actually yeah. like, kind of, like, it's like a sim. Yeah. In a way. Like, you, you kind of live your life through that. That, I'm not going to lie. When they dropped that, I was kind of like. Yeah. I just feel like y'all really are trying to, like, brainwash us. Like. Oh, yeah. For sure. Like. For sure. Like you because are, they realize that like like influencing is a thing, and so we have all these people who get on the internet, and kids are buying things just because such and such showed it on their TikTok, literally. such and such had it in their YouTube video. And so it's just like as as like I'm saying, the the producers mm -hmm. who are creating these devices, mm -hmm. they're easily like, oh yeah, we got them hooked. Yeah, we they they just buy this, they get into here and keep buying this and wanting this, and think that they can have these fake things in a way like. Even uh, what was the things um, NFTs? Okay, like that's ridiculous. Explain that to me. to me. No, listen. I so I tried to my uh, my uh, homegirl Dakota. Her uh, her guy. Uh, he is like he's a producer in the, in the industry. Like he's made some records with some big people, and um, he was like trying to educate me on like the. And it was very brief. But he was trying to educate me on how, like, he, he was fucking with it. Like, he was fucking with it, and I kind of didn't understand it. But, like, isn't that, like, something to do with, like, a, a, a digital, like, digital asset or some shit? Yeah, like, it's a, literally a digital asset. But, like, what? I, I don't, I feel like, I, I don't, don't get yeah, it. I don't get it. Like, like so I think they were even trying to take it as far as, like, for example, like, if you want a, a like, a Hellcat. Right. So you can have a Hellcat as a digital asset, but, like. To me, I can't drive that down the street. Right, right. Like, that's, I just think it's dumb. I think it's, it's a. But mainly, I think what it is is, in a way, from what I understand, mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Um, it's we like, just got like to do more research. It's like a, um, like a form of currency in a way. Yeah. Like, you can easily sell that to somebody else. And, yeah. But I don't know. I feel like it's been dying off more so yeah. recently because just people are starting to wake up and realize, like, like I said, you can't drive that down the street. Yeah, like, actually, so why am I paying? millions of dollars for a digital asset something i can't actually use i feel like but. that world was made for like collectors and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. because um he was trying to break it down to me in like a music in the music like you know word of mouth he was basically saying look let's say this song that i made a beat off of right well, I, I would say this probably would be beneficial for the music industry too though but he was basically saying like 
you know, if I create a song, right, let's say my my beat, the original beat over time is worth more than what it is now, you know, I have this digital NFT asset or whatever to like prove that all those whatever those I think he was saying like copies or something. Copyright. Like, yeah, copyrights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 was kinda like it, it, it appalled me, but I do agree. Like I just feel like yeah. Yeah, I I don't like, know. I, I I don't fully understand it. Yeah. Maybe somebody uh, maybe. can also explain more to me. Yeah. Than I, but ultimately, I just think it's kind of silly, yeah. and that's ultimately why yeah. I feel like it's kind of dying down now. Yeah. But. I definitely um he me and him was talking about uh him being on the show as well uh, when I get up out there in at, in Atlanta. That's where they're at. Um, maybe I'll just have him come on the show to just talk about NFTs and yeah, definitely. We, yeah, see so, where it's going. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, man. NFTs are all the rage, but what are they? NFT stands for non-fungible token, but what does fungible mean? Fungible just means something that is not unique and can be switched out without anything changing. If you have a $20 bill and I have a $20 bill, we can switch and it's still the same. They're both interchangeable, that's fungible. Non-fungible would be if you're Da Vinci and you painted the Mona Lisa, even if I painted the best replica ever, yours is the one that's worth millions and mine's a fake. That's non-fungible. The token part of NFT just means that the record data is stored digitally in one piece, like a token. So when you hear NFT, what it really is is a certificate of authenticity. Think of a deed for a house, your signature on a contract, anything that's supposed to be confirmed one of one. That means non-fungible. Now that is where the uses for NFTs are endless. So like, you've been you've been in town for a minute now. Uh, I know like we both you know went to IU for a bit now. I, this is my last year in the in the town uh, personally, but I do know like outside of school, I did get to like enjoy some of the necessities that the town has to offer. Like, what what do you feel like is your fave little thing to do in Bloom? Honestly, <laughs> you do probably, a lot. It's probably different, but fishing. Fishing. Yeah, I, there's a lot of nature and a lot of lakes definitely, out here. And definitely. I fish a lot. Like yeah. whenever I get the extra free time, that's ultimately what I go and do. Whether I take my girl or. I got a a friend who's down here. Yeah. We pretty much go fishing a lot. That's but what's up. I do a lot of that. Um, besides that, I also um, try and get into like I know that there's like a lot of theaters around here. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there's not really too too much to do besides yeah. like nature and stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, of course, we got like the movies and yeah. food. food. I feel like the yeah. food down here. It's not necessarily the best. Yeah. But they do have those yeah. select spots yeah. that are that are pretty good. So. Did you try Chubby's yet on Kirkwood? No, I haven't. I've been I'm, wanting to. I, I don't know how long they've been established, but I know they have been here since we've been here. Mm -hmm. And like, bro, they got the best taco Mexican food in town. I say really, it's authentic as fuck. Yes, yeah, I, that's what I heard. I heard it's like more of an authentic. Chipotle. Yeah, yeah, it is, and it's like it's good. It's really good, and like the uh, like the way they design the decorations and stuff inside. Like, it's not that big, but like it's it's vibey. Like, you definitely would want to sit down and eat. You know, like it's it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I really like. Um, I go to La Una a lot. La Una. Oh that's yeah, not, that's not authentic. They got all. the uh, what do they got the deal on uh, Monday for uh, the two dollar tacos or something, yeah, like, something that? like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could understand that. I, I don't know. I don't think I really like them though. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> yeah, you it's not. It's not really authentic. For it. yeah. It's not. Yeah, they got some good drinks though. I'll say that. Yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> but that's what's up though. Um, so like. What should we be like looking out for you near future as far as like you, uh, building growth, anything, got anything um, coming up for us? I would say my next serious step with just my brand overall is mm -hmm. my clothing brand. Yep. Why do I? Yeah. Yep. I started my clothing brand really like over a year now mm -hmm. and I, I've only had one drop, but mm -hmm. that's just because I wanted to take the time to actually for my next drop to be something where which I had some hoodies and stuff that I was mm -hmm. supposed to drop and I was going to drop and right. I, was going to, I had it all lined up. Right. And then the manufacturing process fell through. Okay. And so I wanted to be able to have things on hand. Right. The first time I did my drop, it was all mm -hmm. pre-order mm -hmm. and it did pretty well, but I feel like I could have done better having right. things on right. hand, especially yeah. being down here in a place like Bloomington. Yeah, for I go sure. on campus, yeah. get my message get your, out there. Yeah, it, yeah. I feel like people would easily mess with it. Yeah, I for mean, sure. It's a memory of my little brother. He was a group student. Yeah. And so I feel like I can easily resonate with IU students yeah. being down here, which unfortunately I'm only down here. I move in less than a month now. Oh, yeah. So I'll be back Congrats, in Indy, bro. but I'll be, it'll easy be, it will easily 
Oh, I can't talk. Easily. I will easily be able to come back down here. I still yeah. got um, a couple younger friends down here yeah. who are doing stuff. And so I definitely want my clothing brand to really go to the next level. For sure. It's my brand. But I mean, shout out my... to Dre. Shout out to Dre, man. Yeah, man. I got a chance to meet your little brother uh, uh, during his group here. He was a cool dude. Funny guy. Funny guy. Yeah, Him and sure. Bobby. Man. They, they yeah, was... Bobby. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but um, regarding uh the clothing brand thing that you're doing i feel like definitely keep at it uh definitely do what you got to do i know i seen your first drop it, it was definitely a vibe like i would definitely rock that some cool look, you know mm -hmm. i like the jump i like the jumper look um did you have like flared pants yeah yeah that, that was supposed that, to be my next drop yeah i was yeah. gonna wear it today but it was too yeah. hot i was like it'd be perfect for i, was, wear it, get I some thought exposure. you were gonna i'm not gonna lie bro i thought you was gonna put one of your little fits on I, like i, I thought you have, were but, but You'll be back on here, right? You'll be back yeah, on yeah, here. For yeah, sure. yeah. We'll see. It. We'll see your stuff. We'll see your stuff. But um, okay. Um, uh, yeah, man. Uh, is there any like words of encouragement that you would like to give our audience? Um, I mean, shoot, just just be yourself. Ultimately, like you just said, my brand YGY stands for You Got You, and that's just ultimately meaning like always have yourself, put yourself first, put your goals first, mm -hmm. and do that by being your authentic self and just not worrying about what anybody else has to say and when it, you know when it comes to what you want to do in life because I understand that like we've been talking about pretty much this whole podcast like yeah. it's so easy to have all these outside distractions that yeah. stop you from you know like I heard some the other day and it, it was uh, fear stops success more than failure and that is so true there are simply just people out here who just are simply scared to do what they want to do in life. So they never take that first step. So I just feel like the best way to take that first step is just by being yourself. Mm. And always having your own back. Fear, fear. fear stops failure more than, or fear stops success more than failure. And I like that really resonated with me. You got good brains. <laughs> I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get me. With me because even though That's I've even you. came a long way with being in front of a camera or shooting content out in public, mm -hmm. like that was always my hardest thing was like like vlogging out in public yeah. or setting my tripod up to do my little fit reels yeah. or whatever out in literal public where yeah. people walk past and see me doing what I'm doing mm -hmm. and I know it's easy for them to be like oh you know especially because there's so many people who think like social media is cringe yeah. and stuff like that so for it's easy sure. for them to oh what's he doing blah 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 yeah. but ultimately now how I like to view it is mm -hmm. like they don't know me right they don't know how many followers I have right. like I restarted my Instagram now so I'm trying to like really get more following that resonates with my content right. versus you know i had that instagram forever right. and that's why i got to personal the point that I got people to. from exactly. childhood and yeah and so it's just like i said just ultimately just being yourself if, yeah. if that's what you want to do then why do you care about the next person's opinion about what you're doing right. yeah i agree with you um i'm gonna watch this when i when i edit it and i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna remember that word of affirmation um what is it again say it one more time um fear stops success more than failure fear stops success more than failure that is like I, i'm a big word yeah. of affirmation girl so like thank you for that we needed that thank <laughs> you sure. you educated us today zeke um I appreciate you, man. Uh, I'm not going to hold you hostage for too much longer. I know uh, we started a little late, but uh, stay blessed, bro. Keep doing you. Keep shining light on others. Take your words of advice as well. Mm -hmm. Don't be just yeah, giving right. it. I can't just be saying I know I have. Myself, I know I have an issue with doing that. Well, I used to. Um, I've really been holding myself accountable now, but I definitely have not been saying shit if I ain't been doing it. So mm -hmm. definitely, you know. Remember what you're saying. Dish it out to yourself. Always show love. You already know you got a place to come anytime you want to, you know, get off anything you might need. Uh, I definitely want you to come back on the show to talk about, I don't know, yeah, maybe, you can, yeah, maybe you about. can, maybe you can open up the show next time and we just go in. I don't know, but yeah, I definitely sure. like this. This was a vibe. Um, you know, yeah. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm watching you. We're watching you. You always yeah, got my support. Yeah, yeah, for I like, sure. Like you said, we've known each other for a few years. Yeah, now, yeah, Sweden, man. You evolve and we've evolved. Series. Yeah, 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 man. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm proud of us for sure. Like, I'm proud of us for sure. Uh, Especially the, doing something positive. Yeah, you know, positive. Like using social media to yeah. just get famous. Yeah, like yeah. That. This is, I want this to be a way that we can educate people and like just bring people more aware to like the problem and shine light on like the solution mm -hmm. so like thank you bro for coming on here and 
Yeah, Talking for that me. real. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Love. Love. And Until next time. Until next time. Um, y'all follow us on social media. Uh, I am my main page is LB underscore denim, but you can also follow my this platform for the podcast, denim up underscore up next. Let them know your at, bro. I'm a uh, I am Zeke B. That's Z E E K B. Uh, that's on all platforms. I'm on YouTube as well. Some that are working on getting consistent at, but yeah, you can follow me on all platforms. Yeah. Y'all stay tuned, man. Love, peace. <laughs>